Blake, get over here. You have to see this. your uncle's wildest theories? What on earth do you think he found? Oh, that's Professor Lake to you, Danforth. I thought the storm hit us hard. No wonder we haven't heard from him. Lake? Lake! Lake! Now where in God's name is Lake? it. That's the only place he could have gone during the blizzard. You... you aren't suggesting we actually go after him. We need to go back to base camp, form a proper search party and We don't and get have time. My uncle is out there, alone. And he's the only one who knows what happened back there. How do we know he's alone? What about this? Whatever Lake found in these mountains must have- forth. I refuse to abandon Lake on wild theories alone. He will have the answers. He has to. My god! Danforth, look! <gasps> oh. Incredible. There are no records of any human civilization in the Antarctic. I'm not convinced this is human. I see something, metal, glinting in that trench. Good eye, Danforth. Professor, please. We can't stay here. <gasps> Something's not right about this place. We know he's just been through here. We must be close. Don't make me leave you behind! Way? Yeah, but 40,000 light years from galactic central point calculating for gravitational spin. This doesn't make any sense. These constellations, they're all wrong. This place, it isn't human. This is no time for sightseeing. We need to find Lake. Lake? What does Lake matter in the face of all this? 
That man is like a father to me, and I'm not leaving here without him. We don't have time These star charts are from vantage points light years from Earth. The monster lake- What monster? Just look around you. They're here, all over the walls. <laughs> this was their city. You're starting to lose it. Listen to yourself. The For I once, you listen to me. Open your eyes. We are never going to find Lake. This discovery, it invalidates everything we know. Our history, our biology, none of it means anything anymore. Lake doesn't matter. We don't matter. Mankind doesn't matter! Whatever Danforth saw when he looked out that window shattered the limits of what his young mind could accept. Things that should not, could not exist. There must be something else out there, sleeping beneath the ice. And it's imperative that that nameless horror remains. Undisturbed.